Yes, sir. How are you? Doing good. Doing good. Got everything in here. Cool. Let's take a look at Some more bits and pieces to them, I'll give them to you. Oh, yeah. Uh, I think I had like some rumble packs or something like that that went in there at one point. Yeah. And four. So, how you been, man? Pretty good. The boys uh, had a hook done and played it uh, a little while ago. Yeah. Game I think I ever played in my life ever playing is that it was conquered bad birthday. <laughs> it's the only game I've ever been in. That's a good game for sure. That's a classic game. Oh yeah. It's one of my favorite shooters. I have all those games. The uh that golf game. Yeah. I think you played that more than anything else growing up. Like oh yeah. In college, we would, we'd make bets and play for money. Say <laughs> so sixty bucks. Mm -hmm. All right. There you are. I appreciate it. No problem, man. How's it going? Good, good, good. Better than these people. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'll let you carry that. <laughs> Alrighty. What all was in there? Um, Should we stuff? Three Wii's and a PlayStation 1. They all power on and the Wii's work. I was able to get that to power on, but I don't have any games to test it That's fine. I got plenty. Okay, you wanted a 45 for the whole box? Yep. All right. On there. There's 40. And five. Awesome. Thank you. Good, how are you? All right. Awesome. She wanted 15? Okay. Let me just take a look at this real quick. Taped up. They all good. Alright, looks good. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Hey. Um, 
This is from four movies I discarded. Oh, cool. I to have. There's a PlayStation in there. I didn't have the hookup for it, but I had one controller to it still. All right. And I don't know. My nephew had that VTEX flash thing. It actually a CD player and stuff too. All right. And here's the games that. I'm gonna get there. Here's all the games that I have right here. And then there's five more that didn't have cases for them, and I just stuck them in individual bags and stuck them in here. I didn't want them to get scratched up. Okay. There's a book that we've had to one of the games, but you can have it for free. At all? I was like, man, I'm not gonna part with Tekken 3. I play it. I love that game. Did you bring the song Hill? No, I didn't. Did I bring Silent Hill? No, I didn't see it. Unless it's in oh, here. Oh man, I didn't bring Silent Hill. Oh, that's the game I really, yes, really wanted. Listen, just hold on oh, to these, and I'll get okay. it from you, and I'll just get all the get the money from you when I bring that one. I'll come back to Waycross tomorrow. Okay. That be fun. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. All right. That way you can check, and make sure they all, which I know they all work, but. And there's five. There's five of them in there. Some Tony okay. Hawk's in there. A couple other off the wall games. That way, give me a chance to look for some others for you. And that's all just right. that game system and uh, that. Yes, I remember that. I remember seeing on your profile yeah. Silent Hill, and I don't know why. I, I guess there's a couple more games that I didn't grab. I was in a hurry trying to get out last night. And I'm like, oh, right. if I don't stick them in my car, he's never going to get these games. <laughs> it's okay. That's okay. I'll get it for me tomorrow. Oh, I was, you know what? And I stuck that on there on the other side of that, just like that. I'm like, this is in here wrong. And I know there's more because the kids were playing it last summer and I had them on a stack of a, like a, um, the burnable. Hey. Yeah, there was this and there's movies of Lord of the Rings. Okay. Those two. And then awesome. those two stinking movies I had to set out for you too. Very I guess awesome. they just fell behind the shelf. And I want to say there was two, the part one and two of those. I don't know why. If I would you can have had, find them. I don't know why I would have had three, part three, because I never do that. Yeah, if you can find them, this is my favorite video game series. Well, Silent I literally Hill. had hundreds of those things. And you wanted ten for everything? Yeah. Okay. There you are. Yeah. Awesome.
Lorna, how are you? That's fine. Um, I believe you messaged me about the video games. Yeah. There's a box right here. I've already. There's a box there. I'll probably just take all of it. Okay. Depending. I saw your message. I mean, I saw your thing, and I said, "Well, I knew we've had all this coming out." Today. Oh yeah. You wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't happen to have any of these games, would you? Um, did you look in that box right here? I did. I didn't see any, like, original Nintendo games. Um. I saw some games for the N64. Alrighty. Guess that's all that's left is the 64s. Well, how much for the two boxes? Um, I make her an offer and I'll go ask her and see. I, I wouldn't even know who <laughs> to offer for both. Um, what do you normally pay for them? Uh, well, you know. I went it up without knowing if all of it works, you know. Yeah. I had to get some of it back back home and then oh, it not work. There. Yeah, there was one game in there. Well, you said they all been up in storage for a while. They all worked when they were put in storage. Yeah. <sighs> I'm horrible at making offers. <laughs> Um, I don't know, there's several game systems there, there's several games. Did you, did you say like 40 bucks for everything? Let me ask you. It's my cousin, I'm helping. Okay. Oh. About 45. Alrighty, I'll do that. Forty-five, and you'll throw in this magazine just because it looks cool. <sighs> yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> just because it looks cool. It does. It looks cool. <laughs> yeah. I'm a big horror fan, so yeah. you know, it said the horror issue on the front. Right. Right. All right. So there's forty. And five. Thank you. Thank you.
Do you happen to have any old video games? No. Like any PlayStation or Nintendo or anything like that? DS, Game Boy? I don't get rid of any of that. <laughs> no? Alright. How much on your little box of Ninja Turtles stuff? Three dollars. Just do three dollars and throw in the little Mario game? Absolutely. Alright. I'll do that. Good morning. How are you? <clears throat> Would you happen to have anything else video game related? I think that's all. I didn't get him to go through everything. I look for stuff like old Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64, Game Boy, yeah. Sega Genesis, um, GameCube, Wii, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, 3, all of it. All of it. No, I know I have an old Wii, but I don't have all the components. Do you have any games for it? Take those two if you want to sell those. Alright. Are those the only two games you yeah, have for those it? Yeah, those are the only two. Alrighty. You want to pay me two dollars and ten dollars? Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Did you take ten bucks on anything? All ladies clothes? Yes. Okay. Alrighty. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for me. Okay. There you are, 12 bucks. Great. Thank you.
Good morning. How are you? Good. How are you? How doing you pretty doing? good. Oh, Pardon? I'm talking myself. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> Why don't you look at you too? Yeah, I know. Because I, I have to remind myself a lot of times when that's going to be. Did you do those yourself or did you have them? I had them done. Here in White Box? And Black Sheer. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that's still, cool. still working on it. Uh, that's right. My, my youngest one. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't happen to have like any old Nintendo, Sega, Super Nintendo. Yeah, I do. Yeah? <laughs> and I was just looking at them yesterday. I was going to say, I wonder if I have to look these up and see how much they are worth. Me. I'd love to look at them and make you an offer. I'm a, I'm a big collector of video games. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, you too, it's so good to see good you. Thank if you'll give me just a half a second. I sure yeah. will, yeah. Oh, damn, yeah. Some cool stuff here. Mm-hmm. All the pieces are here. All the pieces. And it does work. It's in pretty good shape, too. Oh, it's, yeah. yeah. It's a one on me. <laughs> you. It's, it's <laughs> well, what would you want on the whole box? Uh, gosh. Uh, man, I don't know. You got three games. Yeah. And system. Two of these. And there's a the little chair, see ya. And a splitter. And a splitter. I haven't seen one of those in a long time. I know, they... <laughs> the kind that, uh... That they had really, the... They yeah. had the... Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You had to undo the screws yeah, and, uh -huh. and put it in like that? Yeah. 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 Um... Uh, Seventy-five. I was thinking more like forty. Oh no. All right, so let's let's uh, negotiate here then. Okay. Um, I mean that was just no that popped up off the top of my head. Mm -hmm. Forty and seventy-five. That's a thirty-five dollar difference. Where's the middle of that? About seventeen fifty. About fifty-five bucks. Yeah, I'll 55 do it. bucks. All right. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. But uh, all right. So we got the Nintendo and the power cord and everything's in here. Yeah. And the controllers. All right. And we said 55 on it. Mm -hmm. All right. There's 60. I think. 20. 40. 60. Yeah. There's 60. You said a dollar on this? Alrighty. And three bags of chips for a dollar? I'll take that all day. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, you said two bucks. Yeah. She takes the money. She, don't she, know. she the money handler. Alright. I appreciate it. Alright, buddy. Thank you. Good luck with your sale.
Take care. Two dollars a piece. Okay, I can do fifty on everything. So we'll just do fifty on everything. Yeah. Okay, Be gone. Be gone. You get, you it. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, okay, here's thirty. I mean fifty. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Alrighty. So, oh, you found a box? Yeah, cool. I'll um, consolidate it. All right, fantastic. Thank.
What is going on YouTube? As you can see, it has been one heck of a week for pickups. Uh, very blessed to have been able to find as much as I did. Uh, the only thing that is not here on this table are the power adapters and AV cables. There are a few power adapters that I did want to show that I picked up. Um, I'm going to be removing a lot of this stuff off the table to clear some room so we can get a better view of some other things. Uh, first thing, we've got four uh, third-party N64 controllers, two gray and then two super pads. Uh, the gray ones have really tight sticks as well as these super pads. And we'll get some of these out of the way. There are four first-party controllers here, and... Two of them have really tight sticks, and two of them have pretty loose sticks. Uh, that's alright. I will be able to replace those. Then we've got this Onimusha strategy guide. Got that in a lot with a PS2 Slim, some PS2 games. Uh, you've, seen, you've seen the video. But we got the Onimusha guide. There is a PS2 Slim. There is one Wii left. I picked up three. I've already sold two. And there were a bunch of controllers. And so now I've got three controllers left out of the, uh, I believe there, there were six altogether. All right. At the yard sales today, I picked up Super Mario Brothers Wii and Mario Kart. Also at the yard sales, picked up a PS1. Uh... A silver platinum GameCube. Here were a couple of, a couple of power adapters I picked up for the uh, DS systems. And a lot. Uh, we got the Guitar Hero on tour mo modern hits, Nintendogs, and Final Fantasy The Four Heroes of Light. Also, in a lot, we came across Sonic 2 six pack uh, this is X mutants on the Genesis Shinobi 3 and very disappointed to see Contra Hardcore I hear a lot of people calling that corpse and it's not it's called core <laughs> anyway very disappointed in the condition of the label this is the first time I've ever found this and uh, I was just really bummed out when when I saw the condition it was in. Here are the PS2 games that are doubles for me that I picked up along the week. Uh, these came in lots or at yard sales. I can, I'm, I'm a sucker for a dollar game. If I see a video game for a dollar, I, I just gotta pick it up. Madden 17 came from the pawn shop. And that is the last Madden on PS3 and Xbox 360. Battlefield Bad Company 2, the Ultimate Edition, came from the yard sales this morning. Crash Bash came in a PS1 lot that I picked up. This uh, long box for Destruction Derby. Yeah. I mean, everything is so uh, tightly packed onto this table that things are bound to fall as I pick them up. But I found this at Goodwill, and... It was empty. The um, the little snap case for the for the disc is not even in here. But I asked her if uh, how much you know they want it for. She's like, well, because it's empty, you can just have it for free. So pick that up along the way. All right, now these are the PS2 games that are going into the collection. Nothing crazy here except for Grandia 2. Now, I also picked up Silent Hill 3, complete and really nice condition. I already have Silent Hill 3, and so when I posted my finds the other day in a Facebook group that I'm a part of, someone hit me up immediately about, about Silent Hill 3, and so it got sold and shipped off already. Here are the PS1 games that are going into the collection. Crash Bandicoot Warped. Pac-Man World 20th Anniversary, Miss Pac-Man Maze Madness, Nicktoons Racing, 
which is surprisingly that Nicktoons Racing is a fifteen to twenty dollar game. Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase, Tekken Three, Resident Evil Two, then the PS3 game going into the collection is this Ride to Hell uh, Retribution. I found that at the pawn shop today while I was out at yard sales. I'd never seen this game before. It is a PS3 exclusive, and so I had to pick that up. But I had a coupon for $10 off. This game they had marked at $10. And so I picked up Shadow of the Colossus for free. And then paid $4.50 plus tax for Ride to Hell Retribution. Uh, in a lot today, full of game systems and games, came across the Wavebird Receiver. That's going to be an easy sell right there. Also, throughout the week, we picked up Legend of Spyro the Eternal Night, and this came in that lot uh, with the three Wii's. And I also picked up another PS1 with a screen. Let me grab that very quickly. Okay, so here's the screen, and the screen itself is in really good condition. However, it's busted, the hinge is broken on it, it does not work. I've tested it on two different PS1s. I tested it on my personal one, and I tested, I tested it on uh, the PS1 that's in this, in this bag here. I've already got this bubble wrapped and packaged ready to be sold. It is already listed on eBay. And that is uh, double bubble wrapped on the inside. So that's why it's in the package. But I've already got this listed on eBay as well for parts or repair. Uh, it was very unfortunate that it did not work. Extremely bummed out. All right. Also, we got the transfer pack for the 64. Memory card plus. Uh, a couple of PS1 memory cards that were in that system. The Zapper. This Logitech uh, PS3, I want to say, controller. Um, it's the Logitech, Logitech Chill Stream. I looked this up right before I started the video and these sell for about $20. Uh, anytime I see Logitech anyway, I'm going to pick it up if it's a controller. This is a great third-party controller. Got a Wii Nunchuck. There's like six NES controllers. There's two. Um, there are some Genesis controllers. A couple of the uh, power cables that I picked up was for... One was for the PSP here. The other one was for a Game Boy Pocket AC adapter. Never seen one of these before until today. Then we've got the Rumble Pack for the 64. And we've got the Sega Genesis Mega Fire controller. Very cool. That's the first time I've ever found that controller. So I'll be holding on to that one for the collection. Here's a couple more NES controllers. I'm just tossing them back here behind me in a box. Some more Genesis. I believe there were like four, four or five Genesis controllers. And then there were two NES Advantage controllers. One was in pretty good gray condition. The other one was extremely yellowed out. There's the one that's in pretty good condition. And then there was a Game Genie for the NES. And came across these. I've never seen these, ever. So we've got the NES game card front. FC console front. So Famicom to NES converter. Or you stick the NES game here. You stick this end in the Famicom. So you play NES games on the Famicom. Very, very cool. Uh, for connect with USA or Europe version... NES game card, and then for connect with Famicom console. 
It's very awesome. I found two of those in a lot today. I've never seen those before, but very awesome adapters. All right, then on to some more games. Crazy pickups for the N64. Got two copies of Conker's Bad Fur Day. Uh, as far as games is concerned, those are definitely the pickups of the week right there. We've got Ocarina of Time, Pokemon Stadium 2, Pokemon Stadium, Donkey Kong 64, Pokemon Snap, NFL Blitz, NFL Blitz 2001, Pokemon Puzzle League, Rainbow Six, Madden 99, Shadow Man, Perfect Dark, Mission Impossible, Miss Pac-Man, Maze Madness. also picked that up on the PS1. Forsaken 64, Bass Hunter 64, Walleye, Country Club, Wayne Gretzky's 3D Hockey, uh, NFL Quarterback Club 2001, and Wave Race. So some very awesome N64 titles picked up along the way. There were uh, three N64 systems. Now, someone asked me if this was the, uh, I'm, I'm going to butcher this name, the, the Daye, Daye Hawks Japanese console, which would have been a Japanese exclusive console. It's some um, orange on top and black on bottom. However, that Japanese console exclusive has uh, gray uh, cartridge slots here and someone just Frankenstein this console into looking like that Japanese exclusive console this is a, a US version um, a US console I was even more upset that half of it was missing because I do not have a complete fire orange N64 system so I was really upset more upset about that however it did come with an expansion pack the other two have standard jumper packs in it so that'll be an easy sell right there all right on to the super nintendo games we've got the lawnmower man uh super return of the jedi x-men mutant apocalypse with a bad label winter olympics Mortal Kombat 3, uh, Nickelodeon Ah Real Monsters, Tetris 2, Battle Blaze, and uh, George Foreman Knockout. Nothing crazy there at all. All right, three Nintendos, one missing a door, the flap door. That's all right. I've got extras. And then for the Nintendo games, we've got uh, two stacks here. The stack on the left are the ones I already have, and the stack on the right are the ones going into the collection. So the ones going into the collection are Iron Sword, Pro Wrestling, Yoshi's Cookie, Double Dare, Gauntlet, the Gray Cartridge from Tengen, Marble Madness, Kirby's Adventure, uh, Video Mation, Sesame Street, ABC, and the Three Stooges, as well as two complete in box copies uh, for Tengen Pac-Man and Tetris. Now Pac-Man was missing its manual when I bought it at the yard sale, and uh, I already had a copy of the cartridge with the manual, so I was able to take the manual I had and complete that. Found this little uh, pinball looking Super Mario Brothers game pick that up today and then the games that I already have in the collection are John Elway's quarterback Tetris two copies of Paperboy Narc Mario Duck Hunt Double Dragon Dr. Mario Rad Racer Excite Bike and the best one out of the lot would be Castlevania there all right folks but that is it <laughs> that is it uh it's been one heck, one heck of a week for pickups. There are a few items down here under the table that I'm going to show you that I also picked up for resale. So let me get some space cleared off here and then I'll show you those items. Okay, so here are a few other items. Now, um, we got turtles here. 
These are probably not going to fetch much money at all. But this is an original 1988 Splinter. They did have their weapons here. There was a box um, that had them in it for like $3. And that little game was included. So I paid the 3 bucks. I mean, I, I can make that back off of Splinter alone. Should be able to. I took a chance. I took a risk on this uh, wrestling uh, 15th anniversary. The best of Raw. Some of these can go for some good money. Well over $20. However... I bought it blind and this one only fetches about $5. So nothing special there. We do have these two Monster High uh, vinyl figures that are new in box. And this one is Draculaura. And then this one is Frankie Stein. I know nothing about Monster High, but they were brand new in box. Looked them up and they sell for about $15 each. But the best find of the day for a dollar was this vintage 1990s with tags still on it. Original Furby. I have sold many of these and these usually always fetch 25, 30, 40, sometimes $50 depending on the condition. Uh, if you ever see these Furbies out at yard sales or at, or at the uh, flea market or whatnot and they're stupid cheap pick them up they sell extremely well but there you have it folks i hope you've enjoyed the content if you have by all means hit that thumbs up if you have not subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit the bell icon while you're at it so you get all notifications every single time i upload new content i hope you've had a fantastic week i know i have i'm tatted collector and have a good one